Hello again, it's Dr. Denton with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about the difference between a routine eye exam and a diabetic eye exam. Every eye exam that we do here at Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear is comprehensive, whether it's routine or for a specific issue like diabetes, we are always looking at the total health of your eyes. So many people will ask then what is the difference between doing a routine exam and doing a diabetic eye exam? So in a routine exam, we're you know looking at a healthy patient with no ocular problems, no known history of issues, um, typically with no health problems either, and we're assessing prescription, the way the eyes align and work together, as well as the health of both the front and back surface of the eye. We're just looking at every single structure and making sure that no problems exist. I always make sure to take careful notes if we have anything out of the ordinary. Um, you know, some folks will have freckles in the back of their eye, and I like to just have a good baseline so that as time goes on, if anything changes, I can compare to my notes from the prior years. Now, if you are diabetic, you know that your primary care doctor is going to want you to have an, a dilated eye exam every single year. The reason for this is that diabetics are much more likely to have um, problems in the back of their eye from diabetes. With a diabetic eye exam, we're going to ask you more involved questions about your diabetes and your diabetic control. So it is very important to know your last blood sugar, um, whether you took that at home or it was taken at your doctor's office. There's another important number called your A1C. Your A1C, um, in you know general terms, is a number that tells us the approximate level of control of your diabetes over the, about a three month window. So each and every time you go to your primary care doctor, you wanna pay attention to the A1C and find out what that is because your other specialists will want to know that. A normal A1C is uh, usually around five to six. Um, and if you're diabetic, it could be as high as I've seen them at 10 or 12. Your doctor will likely have a goal for you. So most of my patients will say, oh yeah, that's that number that it's at eight point something, but my doctor wants it to be closer to six or seven. So aside from the extra history questions about your diabetes and your level of control, we're also looking for very specific things in your eyes during a diabetic exam. Diabetes affects the peripheral organs. It affects your blood vessels um, and it can affect almost every structure of the eye. So I'm looking for new blood vessel growth that shouldn't be there. I'm looking for hemorrhages in the back of the eye that shouldn't be there. I'm looking for swelling in the back of the eye. And all of these things, if you're under good control, hopefully won't be there. If you are diabetic, I absolutely recommend that you have a full, comprehensive, dilated eye exam every single year. Um, do not opt out of the dilation. It's incredibly important so that we can assess the overall health of your eyes, every structure there is. Thanks as always for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have new videos every single Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Check them out. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.